Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Speakeasy Cocktails, where I teach you all about the best cocktails that history's forgotten. I'm your host, Joe the Bartender, and today we have a very special triple recipe treat with the Fog Cutter. Now, at first glance, mixing rum, gin, and brandy and naming it after a diving knife might seem a bit weird. The only thing weirder might be this cocktail's history, seeing as multiple bars and bartenders claim to have been the first to have concocted it. Most commonly, it is considered to have originated in the 1947 Trader Vic's Bartender Guide. Many cocktail historians accept this as the slated history of the drink. However, bartender and tiki cocktail legend Tony Ramos distinctly recalls making it years earlier in the La Brea bar called Edna's Fog Cutters, where it was served as their signature drink, which would slate this recipe as several years earlier than the Trader Vic's Guide. Don the Beachcomber's Tiki Bar also claims that they have had a recipe for this drink for quite a while that they serve at their bar, and due to Don's intense secrecy in the early years, it really is hard to dispute him one way or the other. The truth of the matter is, whoever actually created this recipe has created one of the earliest tiki-style cocktail recipes. To make this cocktail, you're going to need the following items. Orgit syrup. This is a syrup made primarily from almonds and should be very easy to find online. Lemon and orange juice, fresh squeezed once again will always be preferred. Gin, not surprising given how popular it was. Brandy, light rum, and any light rum will do. And cream sherry. And make sure you get the sweet or cream sherry and not the cocktail sherry. Now this is a pretty straightforward cocktail as it's blended, so just go ahead and throw everything in a blender. First up, an ounce and a half of light rum. Then half an ounce of brandy, gin, and orgot syrup. So just go ahead and throw those right in the blender cup again. Then we're gonna do two ounces of lemon juice. and one ounce of orange juice. Once you have that all in your cup, uh, add one scoop of shaved ice, put your lid on and blend away. So after blending, just go ahead and grab a ceramic tiki mug and pour the drink right in. After that, you want to put a float of cream sherry right on top. And after your float is done, you garnish it with a stir, a straw, and a fresh rig of mint. And there you have it, the Trader Vic Fog Gutter. Next up, the Don the Beachcomber recipe. When making this, you're going to notice that it's remarkably similar to the Trader Vic recipe. Again, it contains orchid syrup, gold rum. This is the only of the three recipes that calls for gold rum, making it pretty unique. Pisco, another very unique ingredient. This time it's used instead of brandy. Gin, no real surprises here. Orange and lemon juices. Again, cream sherry. Now this is the only of the three recipes that's not blended, so it's gonna be a little bit more work. So go ahead and grab your shaker and fill it with ice. Next, you're going to want to add two ounces of gold rum, which is different than the other ones that all only call for an ounce and a half. Then you want to throw in an ounce of pisco. Then half an ounce of gin and half an ounce of the orchid syrup. Then after that, it's again two ounces of lemon juice. and then one ounce of orange juice. Then you want to shake it till it gets nice and frosty. After that, you want to grab a ceramic tiki mug, fill it with some ice, and then strain your cocktail into the glass. And once you have it in the glass with ice, you want to do another cream sherry float. And then you're going to want to garnish it with several straws and a slice of orange, pineapple, and sherry. 
And there you have it, the Don the Beachcomber Fog Cutter. Lastly, we have the Tony Ramos recipe for a fog cutter, and this one is my personal favorite. To make this cocktail, you're gonna need white rum, gin, brandy, sweet and sour mix. This is a bit weird. Instead of the juices, it calls for a sweet and sour mix, which almost never shows up in old school cocktails. But if the tiki legend Tony Ramos calls for it, we don't really question it. Simple syrup, another not often seen ingredient in old school recipes, cherry brandy. This is what sets this recipe apart from the other two, as the other two use cream sherry instead of the cherry brandy. So this is another blended one, so all you gotta do is throw everything in a blender cup and you're gonna be set. Start off with one ounce of white rum, making it the least amount of rum in any of the cocktails. Half an ounce of gin. Half an ounce of brandy. And half an ounce of sweet and sour mix. Lastly, just add two dashes of simple syrup and you're good to go. Now just take another couple scoops of shaved ice and throw them in your glass. Toss it on your blender and you're gonna be all set. Now this one is also not done in a tiki glass, which makes sense seeing as Tony Ramos claims it's pre-tiki era. So it's just poured into a goblet and then you add a cherry brandy float. Then you garnish it with a straw. And there you have it, three different recipes for the fog cutter all claiming to be the first. So feel free to try one or all three and figure out which one you like the best. Until next time, I'm your host Joe the Bartender and I'll see you in the speakeasies.